And this is a Q&A on Marino Radio blog. Let's find out what is Agnes Word's plan, the best practice. Navigational warnings and the distributing of TNP in Agdis is a very interesting subject. Subsequently, all navigational charts must be updated by the latest notices to mariners, which also include TNP notices and are amended according to the latest maritime safety information. At this stage of the planning process, the safety-related information regarding hazards to navigation and other obstructions provided by NAVTACs and safety net must be checked. The information on the up-to-date ENC chart may be affected by influence of events which happened after the latest update date. Those events introduced to mariners through TNP and navigational warnings. The Admiralty Information Overlay is a data set that contains additional navigation information to mariners. The AIO is designed to be displayed over top of electronic navigation charts on an Agdis display screen and is unique only to Admiralty ENCs. The United Kingdom issues a weekly bulletin of temporary and preliminary notices to mariners. We know it as a TNP of NM, which contains uh, temporary information of navigational interest to mariners using Admiralty paper charts. Mariners are only required to hold notices to mariners for paper charts that are on board like UKH or hydrographic offices around the world issue notices to mariners to update their paper charts. Some countries do not issue TNP and some do not update their INCs with temporary information. If the producer nation does not include temporary information in their INCs, but the UKH or has issued it as TNP for an equivalent scale paper chart, it is added to the Admiralty information overlay. This allows you to receive extra temporary information which has not been included in your subscribed INCs. The TNP are displayed as polygons over the INCs on the EGDIS, but AIO doesn't have all TNPs issued. To avoid duplication and reduce screen clutter, many countries now issue temporary information as an update to their INCs. If you are navigating digitally, you don't need to receive and manage the information more than once. Digital vessels, which we know as paperless, without paper charts, receive temporary information as updates and new editions of INCs. AIO also provides additional information. If you need all the Admiralty TNPs, they can be obtained from the weekly notices to mariners bulletin or from digital services available from your distributor. But if your vessel paperless, you should have AIO active on your ECDA screen during passage planning. Use the INCs and route checking in the normal way, noting any features that are described in the the peak report as being temporary. Check your route with the Agdis date set to the planned passage time. You may see colored polygons that are associated with Admiralty paper TNP notices to mariners issued by the UKHO. The TNP will be giving you additional information that is not already included in your INCs. You should then open the text of the notice using the Agdis peak report to assess and include the information in your passage plan as necessary. You may wish to annotate your EGDIS display with key information from the TNP so it available as a prompt for watchkeepers if you prefer to hide the AIO during passage monitoring. If you use the mariner's nose function on your EGDIS to mark the temporary items of interest, your notes should be checked against each week's AIO update. The safety information received from Navtex, safety net or from radio reports also must be added to your INCs during voyage planning. Manual corrections should be used to insert chart corrections. This could be navigational warnings 
received by Naptex or SAPT Net of a permanent nature. On many EGDIS models, it is possible to set an expired date for objects in case they are of a temporary or preliminary nature. Voyage-related information should not be inserted as a manual chart correction. This function relates directly to a specific chart and is not to be regarded as an optional layer. Voyage-specific information should be included as user chart objects, which can easily be arranged in various layer sets. These sets can be set up to the specific voyage and be activated and deactivated whenever needed. Corrections can be inserted as symbols, circles, lines, texts, and depths, and a name and information can be added. The name is displayed on the chart with the object. User chart objects should be used to insert voyage-related information into the ANCs. This can be warnings and notes for the navigator, radio information, and other objects which are only relevant for a particular voyage. This should not be mixed up with manual chart corrections, because the chart layers containing the user chart objects will be deactivated when the voyage is finished and the corrections will disappear. With some EGDIS, it is possible to define user chart objects in more than one layer. This makes it possible to differentiate between the objects according to their use. Creating two layers, one for objects relevant to navigation and one for radio communication, is the one of brilliant examples in industry. You can call user chart layers like navigational objects layer and pilot and radio information layer. Important and relevant information has to be added to the relevant charts as user objects. This can be of a permanent or temporary nature. Several EGDIS provide the function to add an expired date to the object, after which it will disappear automatically. After analyzing TNPs and navigational warnings, caution and no areas may appear. Areas where special provisions exist have to be considered for safe transit and operational requirements. This can include, for instance, areas of underwater sand dunes, dumping grounds or areas where toxic vapor from oil fields rise to the surface. To mark caution and no areas, field circle or plain user chart objects can be used. To be able to differentiate no go areas and caution areas, a certain kind of color code or color scheme must be established in your company roles. We we'll slide the button for the next question already. But to help us, we need you to subscribe to the channel and we hope your thumb is rising up for the like.